you doing? Good to be home. Good to be home. Every day when Ava Rizentis gets home from school, a nurse is there to help take care of her. But as of Monday, there won't be a nurse waiting. We're kind of on the verge of collapse at this point. Nurses are leaving private homes to work at hospitals, desperate for staff because of a record number of patients. That's about 500 patients a day, more than what we had pre-pandemic, because patients are getting sicker. But as hospitals pull staff from nursing facilities and home health care agencies, many families have nowhere to turn for help with seniors or children like Ava, who is paralyzed and on a ventilator. It's definitely a crisis. It's affecting so many families and, you know, they're struggling. Like for our daughter, she's the most medically, one of the most medically fragile kids that live at home. For 19 years, Ava has needed round-the-clock care, requiring a registered nurse's help with clearing her lungs, bathing, and prepping food for her feeding tube. It's the consistency, you know, and having the consistency of nursing so we can have a job. We have bills to pay, and we are a two-person working household. We have to be. Hilton Raythel, the head of the Healthcare Association of Hawaii, says the group is working on training more nurses. But for now, he's asking the city and state for emergency funds to bring in more mainland nurses to help address the severe shortage. For the Resentis Ohana, it's a matter of life and death. Her life expectancy wasn't supposed to be past the age of two, but we've been able to keep her out of the hospital, keep her at home for home care, you know, thanks to the nurses that have been here. She's what we call our miracle baby, you know, and so it's just heartbreaking to think what would happen if we can't get enough care for her. Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News. Yeah. Every moment PP and Kawi Resentis have with their daughter Ava, she's what we call our miracle baby, is a blessing. Her life expectancy wasn't supposed to be past the age of two. I try not to make a shadow. Now at 19 years old, paralyzed and on a ventilator, she still needs round the clock care. So when mom and dad are at work, a registered nurse steps in, clearing Ava's lungs, bathing her, and prepping food for her feeding tube. But now... It's just heartbreaking to think what would happen if we can't get enough care for her. That help is gone. We're about to lose everybody come Monday. It's not just Ava's ohana. Nurses across the industry are leaving home health care for higher paying jobs in hospitals. They need more staff and they are pulling staff from our nursing facilities and from home health. The hospital association is working to fill the gap as quickly as it can, but needs emergency funds to bring in more mainland nurses while training local hires. In the meantime, it's families stuck in the middle. We can't just quit our jobs because it's like, then what? You yeah, know? we're not going to quit on her. Yeah. You know, Ava is our life. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the house, dude. Waiting and hoping for another miracle. Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News.